Okay, so today's video is all about manual focus. Unfortunately, I do not have any of my lighting equipment because I just got back from a trip and all of it's kind of packed away. So I'm just gonna do it with the available light that I have in, in this office. So we're gonna set up here. Yeah, there we go. Can't really see me, let me, there we go, cool. Anyway, so today is about manual focus. Um, if you have not, uh, seen this video before you probably may have seen it on my Instagram So if you're not following my Instagram, uh, usually videos like this will be posted there beforehand um, so at the camera hacks and you can follow me on Instagram and keep up with all the updates I'll try to post there daily and um, Try to keep you up with what I'm doing But today is all about manual focus manual focus is something that I tried for a long time to get away from and it's kind of funny because my first camera, well, my first two cameras. The first one was the the Canon Rebel T3i. The second one was the uh, Canon 7D, and both of them could not do continuous autofocus uh, while shooting video. So that was like something I always wanted to get in a camera, like getting something with autofocus that could shoot autofocus through video and do slow motion and stuff with autofocus. Now that I have great autofocus in the EOS R and, and the um, Fuji X-T3, great autofocus, I autofocus everything. Um, I'm getting a little bit more into cinema and it seems like I'm using autofocus less and less. One reason is because I'm using more cinema lenses and cinema lenses do not have any autofocus, but they give me that look that I want in some of my films. And I'm noticing that in some of the film work that I'm doing, that autofocus it just isn't reliable enough for longer takes, so especially long takes like if I'm doing shooting an interview or if I'm shooting some type of short film where I need to actually like pick what I want to focus on and have it locked in on that during a take and not mess up. It's usually when you have somebody performing some type of audio or someone talking some type of uh, interview or like I said some type of short film. Uh, but even in, in other cases, if you're trying to uh, get a very crisp sharp image and have it do exactly what you want it to do. It's about having control over your filmmaking. Um, if you want that, you have to switch over to manual focus. So I made this little video about just some tips to switch over to manual focus. And uh, you will find that using manual focus in most of those situations like um, interviews and things like that, you'll find that manual focus is absolutely the way to go. So here is switching into manual focus in 60 seconds. Autofocus is one of the best features on today's cameras, but when shooting video professionally, try to avoid using autofocus as much as possible. So switch your camera and lens to manual focus and follow these tips to set your focus yourself. Try using a lens with a smooth focus pull. Some lenses can be jittery and sticky. Cinema lenses work best in these situations, but if you don't have access to a cinema lens, try to use a lens that you have that has the smoothest focus pool. Try to use and invest in a follow focus. These systems will allow for a more precise focus pool and just feels a little bit more natural and easier to pull focus. Also, try using a wider depth of field. Shooting at f1.4 makes it much difficult to nail that focus. Lastly, turn on your focus assist. This will help you nail focus every time. And don't forget to follow the camera hacks for more information on cameras and hacks like this one and leave a comment of what you would like us to break down next. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, uh, or if you remember that I used to do videos like this in the past, I'll try to keep doing more of those um, probably on a weekly basis. So you'll see more videos like this, just more tricks and tips, uh, camera hacks and stuff like that. Uh, if you have anything that you want me to talk about, maybe break down, leave it in the comments below and I'll break, try to break that down in the next uh, video like this. Hope you guys take a little bit from that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.